Hello everybody, Cy Starcraft here, and happy 4th of July to all of you, whether you celebrate it or not, there's no reason you can't have a happy ar arbitrary July 4th date. So happy, uh, whatever you do, do today. Hopefully you're watching Starcraft 4, Starcraft 4, 4th of July, uh, Starcraft 2 videos, because that's what I cast, and when you watch my videos, it makes me happy in my pants, and also I, I want to see some people blowing fireworks up, and being safe. Be safe, don't drink and drive, and don't light off fireworks in your hands unless it's a prank, in which case, do so. We have a game on Metalopolis. Why is the music so loud? That music just seems really loud. Uh, it might not be loud to you guys. Let me know if it's actually loud. Uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. Anyway, we have Vile Hawk representing Team Vile, the team that I am on in the left position as the Blue Zerg. And we've got Blessed Player. Oh, that's a heart. Oh, that's so sweet. I need to send myself to Busy, though. And we've got uh, Best Player EU, quite the trollish name, in the top as the Red Terran. Now, I know uh, I cast Vile games uh, quite a bit. That's kind of what I've been doing lately. I make sure to get some Zerg ones. And the last Vile Hot game was a bit underwhelming, but this one is a lot better, I promise you, and it will be worth watching it. It's got quite the doozy of stuff in it. Don't even know what I'm saying. Quick SCV going out, and there is going to be a gas before a barracks. So close position 2-Rex is extremely strong in this map against Zerg, especially with uh, Hawk looking to fast expand. 15 supply sending out his drone, but the SCV will block. No, he's going to scout with that. Might see a spawning pool instead. No, he's still going to scout, or he's still going to try for that 15 hatch. And as I was saying, a 2-Rex would be extremely powerful in this close position, but he did get gas first, so Hellions will be on the way. And best player EU doing some blockage with this SCV doing a nice job used to there used to be a little oh and the SCV goes down there used to be a strategy where you would block it with an engineering bay but now uh, players I guess decided that wasn't worth it not much has changed since since then I'm surprised they don't try to block it maybe they figure a fast expansion isn't that bad to play against uh, anyway so fast expansion is down from Hawk he's getting a gas a, a, this is like the latest possible pool you can get a pool on after a gas after a fast expansion He is so lucky that the Terran didn't go two racks. He'd be dead right now There's no way he'd be able to hold a two racks and of course he's blocking off the second geyser now if hash was smart Or if uh, <laughs> I always call him hash if Hawk is smart He'll see that the refinery has 150 mission missing and he'll be able to tell that the Terran player is indeed going to go a factory and a reactor so four Hellions will be on the way probably he'll probably wait till four maybe even six maybe he'll try to get some blue flame before he moves out and hopefully hawk will have a spine crawler around the ramp like one right around here and one kind of towards the back somewhere around here and a queen blocking the ramp because that's really what you need to do to nullify any kind of hellion aggression which is what we're going to see in this game now uh I'm kind of surprised he's not stopping the speed. He started his gas to get the speed uh, very early, and he's keeping on that gas. And if we check out the harvesters, it's 16 to 17. Here comes the swap roof from that uh, factory and the barracks. Factory now has that reactor on it. Two Hellions on the way. Is this going to be another? Oh, it's going to be a starport. So perhaps a tech lab on the barracks. Switch the starport over. And oh, double starport. So he's going probably a four Hellion attack. He needs to get 100 more minerals for this uh, second Hellion. Into double Banshee. So this is called a ladder build, ladies and gentlemen. This is what ladder players do. Ladder hardcores. They just go the cheesiest, fastest. Whoa, that's a freaking car alarm outside firework must have hit something i hope you guys can't hear that but that's really obnoxious beep, 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 beep. anyway speed is almost up oh my god i have to shut my up oh, there it goes it's off never mind anyway yeah uh, cheesy ladder players don't have any skill i fucking want to stab him in the face right now seriously i am so angry just by seeing this build i'm gonna go hellions then i'm gonna go banshees and if that doesn't work i'll just lose the game the game and oh my god I'm just sorry it just pisses me off I hate this cheesy shit this is the reason I don't get into ladder uh, as much as I should or as much as I'd like to I should say speed is up these hellions will be cleaned up so what a fail attack with the hellions hash just clean it up with some zerglings 
Now he's down 15 to 21 on Harvester count, and that's because he's going heavy into Banelings, heavy into Zerglings. I think he might have actually tried for a Baneling bust. Yes, here we go. Baneling bust on the way. Is the barracks going to land in time? It won't matter. The supply depot is going to get on. He's going to get in with the Banelings. He doesn't even have to blow anything up. This is terrible. What are you doing, Ash? Go! He's so surprised. He can finish us with that Hellion off at home. And the two Banshees are on the way, though. He needs an Evolution Chamber or some, uh, some Queens. He's not getting either. Oh, and those SCVs go down. Banelings probably could have uh, targeted the clump of SCVs over here, and now he's kind of fighting at the uh, the command sir. Now he is getting two queens, but he needs an evolution chamber desperately. There might be cloak on the way. No, there is no cloak. Tons of SCVs going down. This banshee will clean up them, however, but he needs to be get prepared for this banshee. There goes the evolution chamber, and the harvester count of 14 to 7. These SCVs trying to hide inside the refineries, but for whatever reason, they just cannot force themselves to stay in the refinery. They always end up crawling out of it. And he does have four harvesters left. Where are those four harvesters? Oh, they are hiding in the back. Sneaky, sneaky. And has taken down the refineries. It's now 14 to 4 on the production tab. We're seeing some spore crawlers. So these banshees would have liked to have been used to harass uh, Hawk. But instead, oh, and he finds the SCVs. Instead, they're going to go for these zerglings. And now, you know, he's going to have to lift up, go to the gold. More zerglings swarming in. And while there are three Banshees, I think uh, four Queens, which we'll see in a second, and a Spore. I'm surprised he's not getting a Spore to his expansion, actually. Should be enough, and it looks like Hawk is going to take this game pretty easily. He just needs to drone up, get a lot of Queens to defend against these Banshees. And I, I don't understand why he's not getting any Spores at that expansion. That makes no sense whatsoever. But uh, these Queens do outrange the Banshees. And down goes that Queen. But uh, the Banshees are a lot stronger, so if the Banshees engage the Queens, they need to run back to the Spore Crawler if they want to survive. Now he's going to try to force these Banshees away, but the Terran has saved up another Banshee, so he's now at 4 Banshee. He's regaining his gold, and with 130 energy, he can actually rebuild his base really, really fast. Now he can't build any SCVs. He's got no supply to build SCVs, so one of these Banshees is going to have to go down. He might actually sacrifice his Banshee just so he can start building SCVs, and we think I think we'll see that Banshee die in just a moment here. Now going in, harassing some probes. Where'd that Spore go? He needs to put the Spore in the Mineral Line. Nice transfusion on that Queen. Four Queens against four Banshees is pretty good for the Queens, considering the weakness of the Banshees, as long as the Queens have ample energy to transfuse. So now, best player EU is evening the field. It's 4-0 to zero on a Harvester count now. I don't agree with the placement of the Spore Crawler. Let's be a lesson to you against Banshees. Better safe than sorry. Get a couple spores at every base instead of just one. I don't know why he got none of his expansion. I don't know why he didn't put this in the mineral line. I am so confused right now. But, oh, he does find this expansion. Well played, making great use of those lings. There's now only a single Banshee left. Hawk is producing seven drones, but he's down to four right now. And he really just needs to prevent this base from mining. Just bounce the lings around whenever the Banshee comes to uh, defend or kill off the lings. Just run them away. And just basically starve your opponent essentially now he does have a nice little makeshift wall off here there are a couple holes here but <laughs> this banshee is on patrol it's now 12 to 0 all hawk has to or all best player has is a single mule but no hawk being persistent with the lings very nice and keeping his opponent down now he just has to keep him out the supply depot will be completed momentarily though and allow for some more supply i'm not sure why he's building it just for a wall off i suppose there goes a complete wall up and Hash doing what he should be doing, droning up like mad. Now, I was just going to say, he's got three queens. He should start spreading creep. He's doing just that. And uh, I'd, I'd like to see a, a Zergling patrol, 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 patrol between these five bases. And just make sure the Terran isn't sneaking anything else. So I'm actually going to speed this up. I don't do this out often, but I'm going to speed this up just for the sake of you know, watching this game rebuild into what it might be because Hash can't really attack because of the wall off and the Banshee, or Hawk, I'm so sorry, I keep messing up that name. But uh, the Terran player, of course, can't do anything because he has no units. So on the production tab, we're seeing that Hawk is going to, oh, this is, Hawk is going to try to go for a Baneling bust. I mean, the Terran's on one base, he's got, like, no workers. His economy will start up pretty soon here just because he's on the gold, but... I'd, I'd like to see Hawk play it more safe. Instead, he's going to run out with four queens, Banelings, and Zerglings against one Banshee. This Banshee, again, does not have Cloak. Lucky for Hawk, he does not have any detection. That would be bad. And it looks like he's going to go for a counterattack. He knows these links can kill the... Oh, never mind. I was going to say he knows the queens can kill the Banshee. But in 
Hobble, the four queens, one Hellion on the way. This looks like it might be it for best player EU. This is quite the interesting game it's turned into. But these queens are so slow. Go, queens. Lead the charge. You've got the HP. You've got the transfers. Five queens coming out. And he did leave one at base for inject. So very nice there. I'd like to see him just rally Lings now. This was actually a pretty intelligent move. I, I was questioning it at first. But Hawk going for the kill, not letting the Terran work off this... Uh, this gold base is actually pretty smart. And Dows goes the Banshee. One drone on the way. Building a hatchery. Oh my gosh. Nobody's canceling it. I don't know why he canceled it. That was going to be... Oh. He built a hatchery and canceled it so he could spread creep and allow his queens to do some more work. Now, I think these queens, once this tumor completes, can just sit right here and poke away at this command center forever. If he tries to lift it off, the queens will just do more damage. Now, EU does have a bunker up. But he's just now producing a single marine to go in that bunker. And he's even getting a spine spreading creep even more. These queens are going to live almost forever with this many transfuses. I'd like to see him. There we go. Just target down that command center. Once that spine gets up, it's bad news for EU. It's already bad news. Oh my god, that's so many circlings. This is one way to finish off your opponent. And there's a transfuse. Almost two marines in that bunker now. Ooh, two marines. The spine is a little bit close, but once it completes, he can transfuse the hell out of it. It doesn't look like it's going to complete, though. Unfortunately, you cannot transfuse a, oh, a spine crawler that is, uh, that is being morphed in. So that's unfortunate. And Hawk, I've got to say, man, if you're looking at the game right now, you, had no, you would have no idea how it came to be like this. Harvesters is 22 to 13. These five queens are looking like they're going to finish it on their own. Now these Hellions are just being annoying. They're not going to do any damage, really. Oh, and this the pre-igniter is going up. But Tash will kill every SCV chart in her parents. Hawk, rather. And now this tech lab looks like it might go down just before the, uh, the upgrade finishes. Yeah, that's a shame. Not that it would have changed much. I mean, he's got these Hellions up here toasting one Zergling. But there's just too many Zerglings. And with the Banelings, it's, it's hard to micro and check out your base at the same time. So... I mean, while this is kind of a good counterattack, it's not going to do a lot of damage. He is, however, microing pretty well, killing a lot of Zerglings. This command center is about to go down. I need to see the SCVs re repair it. No, it lifts off, and now the Queens will be doing even more damage at longer range. However, this does let the SCVs repair it, and perhaps it'll flip off to flip, lift off to the other gold base. But this is an entertaining game, to say the least. Creep in the gold minerals. Oh, transfuse! No, I forgot to transfuse the queen because of these hellions. Zergling is trying to close in. Oh, but they're going to be trapped! No, oh, these poor hellions. They tried their hardest landing at the other gold, but I'm sure Hash is going to know what's up. I'm sure he's going to know. Yep, he knows what's up, that's for sure. Sending in links to finish off that command center. And best player EU. I wish you knew how to do something more than cheese. Maybe you could have came back in this game, but... That looks like it's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. A couple of mistakes for each player. The lifted off building, probably the main one. But enjoyable nonetheless. So that's it. I don't have my GG button. So let me just read one of the sentences on the back of this Neosporin tube. Stop use and ask a doctor if you need to use longer than one week.